Another more minor mystery associated with the woolly mammoths is that you find their bones and tusks, tremendous amounts of them on the New Siberian Islands, which are in the Arctic Ocean. And people wondered, how come there are so many there? Well, I believe this can be explained in the post-flood rapid ice age, because when sea level was lower, the long continental shelf of the Arctic Ocean, which is about 300 some odd miles long, was ex mostly exposed by the end of the ice age. So the woolly mammoths would be out there on the, on the continental shelves, of which we have lots of evidence because they find their bones in the sediments of the co current continental shelves. But as sea level rose, when the ice was melting, sometimes it would rise fast due to catastrophic melting or the release of water from large trapped lakes like Glacial Lake Missoula, raising sea levels suddenly. So sea levels coming up fast and the woolly mammoths and other animals on the continental shelf see the water coming towards them. And so where do they head? Well, they head for a bunch of hills out on the continental shelf, which at that time would be called the New Siberian Hills. And they would congregate there from the rising water. But as the water is rising, it comes around and cuts them off from the mainland. And there they become trapped by the tens of thousands, maybe the hundreds of thousands on those islands, which are pretty hilly. And there they die uh, fairly quickly because there's not enough to eat. And that's why you find their bones on the surface in the permafrost a considerable amount on the New Siberian Islands.